Hello ladies and gentlemen. Good morning and happy Sunday. There's this thing I've been thinking of and I saw its word today. I bring it to you and we share it here. Why do you think uh, former president Uhuru Kenyatta will not continue working with Raila Morodinga? For the last uh, two, three days, we have been seeing what is happening in this country. The accusations uh, Azimura Umoja leaders are making towards uh, former president Uhuru Kenyatta, sometimes they are through when you look or when you figure out how former President Uhuru Kenyatta is working with Raira Morodina. Yesterday, Babowino made it clear and said that if indeed former President Uhuru Kenyatta is with Raira Morodinga, let him resign from the job he was given by William Samoruto as a peacemaker and come out and go out to rallies with Raira Morodinga. That's what Babuino told uh, Uhuru Kenyatta. And today, Kimani Ngujili has made a very important discussion on his YouTube channel and is explaining on how Rigati Gashawa should at some times uh, secure former President Uhuru Kenyatta. Why do you think uh, that is coming a time when Kenyans are fighting for Raida Morodinga to gain his victory pack. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dalmas. If you are here for the first time and you've not subscribed, consider subscribing. Turn on your notification bell. If you love politics, this is the home of politics and this is a place where you will enjoy listening what's happening in this country when it comes to politics. Ladies and gentlemen, right now Kikuyus are claiming that Rigathika Shawa is the most powerful person from the Kikuyu community in this country. Few months ago, it was former President Ur Kenyatta and today is Rigathi Gashawa. If it were not William Samoy Ruto, Rigathi Gashawa could, could have not been the debut president of this country. So Kikuyus voted for William Samoy Ruto and that's why Rigathi Gashawa is the debut president of this country. So by all means, according to Kimani Ngujili, Rigathi Gashawa should protect former President Uhuru Kenyatta. If Rigathi Gashawa fails today, then it means all Kikuyus have failed in this government. So by all means, if there is a person who should not fight Uhuru Kenyatta, it's Rigathi Gashawa. And this message, I think it's going to find him well. If he listens, what Kikuyus on the ground are talking right now, then probably is going to start protecting former President Uhuru Kenyatta. And that's where we are heading as the country. Why are they doing so? The reason why Kikuyus are trying to remind Rigathi Gashawa to protect Uhuru Kenyatta is because they want to make sure that after William Samoy Ruto, who is going to take this position. They are also preparing for future. If William Samuel retires, they want to make sure that the president seat is taken back to Kikui community. That's why they are trying to make sure Red Gashawa is working with all people, all leaders who are elected from Mount Kenya and Central to make sure that they are together. Even if they were voted in Kenya Kwanza, all as Mira Moja. Let them come together and now work as a team so that they can maintain unity within the region. Uh, the reason why I've decided to do this video is to at least open up our minds and see why 
former president Uhuru Kenyatta will not continue working with Raila Odinga. That's the reason number one. Kikuyu community leaders coming together to work to save Uhuru Kenyatta or to protect Uhuru Kenyatta. Now, by regarding a shower, uh, they are going to unite and stop attacking former president Uhuru Kenyatta. That's the unit they want to bring together. Uhuru Kenyatta will not resign as a peacemaker. And if he will not resign, there's no day you will see him working with Raila Morodinga. Even if Kenya Kwanza leaders accuse him funding rallies of Azimio La Umoja, he is in Kenya Kwanza and is working for the government. He brings reports to William Samuel Ruto. Let's say monthly, he must report to William Samuel Ruto how he is working and as a peacemaker, how is he doing to make sure that the country itself contains peace. And for him to be successive, he must stop Raila Murodinga's rallies. That's why you can see Kenya, uh, Azmiro Mocha leaders are accusing uh, former President Uhuru Kenyatta working with uh, William Samoruto. And if they are working, there's no way Raila Morodinga is going to continue with his rallies. He must sit down with Raila Morodinga, talk to him, and bring unity in the country so that the president can have peace in working for the people of this country. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this. If you have a reason why Uhuru Kenyatta will not continue working with Raila Morodinga, you are free. Drop a comment under the comment section and let's see how do you think.